Hi, I'm Jason Ward. I'm the manager of Pet Funeral Services in Hollywell here at the Pet Cemetery. The other day we were having the conversation, which is best, dogs or cats? Which one would be your favourite? Uh, just for a bit of a laugh and it generated quite a lot of things. But then we got to thinking that it isn't just dogs and cats that people have as pets. And often there'll be any kind of creature that people will have as a pet. We've seen all kinds of animals. Uh, we've, we've done cremations here for an ostrich, we've done cremations for a cow, and we've even done cremation for a goldfish. When you do have the conversation about, you know, why have you chosen to have a, have a cremation for your little goldfish? And they say, well, he's not a little goldfish, he's a, quite a big goldfish, and I've had him for 17, 18 years, and, and I didn't know what to do with him. When he, when he died, you know, he was, you know, obviously, you know, people flushed then down the toilet their goldfish when they die or, or you know, the bury, I couldn't bury him in the garden, I didn't want to do those things, so, you know, decided to have him, have him cremated so that I could have his ashes returned to us, so it's genuine sentiment, you know, he'd had him for such a long time through sort of growing up, going to college un or, or university you know, meeting his wife, having children, settling down, and, and then, you know, this fish that had been through, and he just didn't want to treat it like rubbish, so he came and, and we did a little private cremation for him and he took his ashes away. It, it teaches us is that we have a, an emotional exchange with our pets. You put effort and, and time into them and, and give them love, and in, in return you get a, an appreciation of some sort. And the bond that we have with pets can be very, very strong, and it doesn't always need to be a traditional exchange of affection for, a, for us to feel a grief or a loss.